So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, we here to talk about that game that we just finished watching between the Dolphins and the Bengals. And actually, technically, it's still going on right now. You might be able to hear little bits and pieces of it in the background, but um, Teddy Bridgewater just threw that pick. Von Bell, and it's like with, with, with Von Bell, he's like, you know what? Picking off the Dolphins quarterbacks tonight was so nice. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do it twice. I'm going to get a pick on each Dolphins quarterback. How about that? And he did it. Um, but anyway, before we get into the game, um, obviously the biggest story of this game was Tua. Tua, uh, we saw a couple days ago, and it, it was so crazy because Tua got knocked out. Knocked out a couple days ago. Obvious concussion. He got up, started wobbling, started wobbling some more, went back down to the... He was just in not, in, not in good shape to play football. So then... He ends up coming back into the game. And I was so shocked because, I, I mean, not just me. Everybody knew he had a concussion. But um, I remember watching that game and thinking like, man, I, I, I am so surprised that they're doing this right now because I've seen with the NFL, surprisingly, even in the playoffs, that when it comes to concussion, even for star players, because I know NFL, they're all about the business. They're all about money. Um, so, but I seen for star players, even in a playoff game, and you know, the NFL make a lot of extra money off playoff games. They've taken star quarterbacks out due to concussions. We saw it with Lamar Jackson in 2020 against the, uh, the Buffalo Bills. Um, he got concussed and I was thinking it's Lamar Jackson. That's a big money maker. They're going to let it slide. Nope. Sure didn't. We saw it with Patrick Mahomes against the Browns in the playoffs. I forgot what year it was. But I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's Patrick Mahomes. That's a big money maker as well. They going to let it slide. Nope. But with Tua, they let it slide. And not that I don't know if it was the NFL. It, it was the inter, independent neurologists. Or, I don't know if it was the Dolphins doctors. I, I don't know what it was. I don't Because I don't understand the entire process that happens. But the process was wrong. They, they, they obviously handled it wrong because Tua came back in the game. And it's like, really? And, and he didn't look any more concussed during the game but still like he was this dude was just wobbling a couple of minutes ago and then he's back and then they got a game well, four days later and then he's back again and oh and then of course that it was just a nasty process just seeing because he got like thrown to the ground his head hit the ground and live it looked nasty the 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 the, the sack it wasn't a dirty play but it was just a very violent play uh, and football is obviously a violent sport. Um, but Tua's head hit the hit the turf, and then you just knew it was bad. That's that's when it got really scary, when his fingers started doing all that stuff. Because it was like, oof, th this is rough. This is really bad. Because me, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Ever. Uh, in the NFL, when somebody gets a concussion, I've seen people get wobbly. I've seen people get knocked out. But I've never seen where somebody's fingers just do all of that stuff that two of his fingers were doing. Um, they did say he went to a local hospital. They said he has uh, all the movements in his body and whatnot. So that's a good thing. But now I wonder about the, the long-term health for Tua. Um, so we'll see how the, 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 the Dolphins handle it. Um, I don't think they have the best track record right now when it comes to handling Tua. Uh, so we'll see, man. Um, but anyway, this game, I, um, me especially being a Ravens fan, I was hoping that the Dolphins would pull it off. But yeah, yeah, you know how it went. Especially with the Bengals being in my division. And I just wanted the Ravens to have another leg up on the Bengals. Any way we could possibly get it, but it's all good. Ravens just got to take care of their own business next Sunday night football. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, Dolphins defense in this game. They were keeping the big plays to a minimum for a while. They were holding it down. Joe Burrow was completing passes and whatnot, but it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, but then um, T. Higgins on that big catch, the touchdown catch that he had with T. Higgins, um, Xavier Howard. I didn't know he had a groin injury, but Xavier Howard was so close, but he just missed the deflection, and T. Higgins did the rest. Um, Jamar Chase. He had been quiet for a big chunk of the game. Um, but then in the second half, that's when he started making a lot more noise. And then um, there was one drive where him and Joe Burrow, they just started really getting in sync. But at, uh, after Teddy Bridgewater threw that interception, mm, that interception hurt my heart. Because like I said, I, I really wanted the Dolphins to, to, to win this thing, hold it down. But anyway, when Teddy Bridgewater threw that interception, 
Um, on that the following drive, I'm thinking, all right, the Bengals they just gonna run it out, try to get a first down or something. But they went for the big play, that and, and I respect that aggression because you you don't just play to get, but no, you play to win the game. And the Bengals, they played to win. Uh, they knew the situation. They knew what it was. They knew that the game, even though it looked kind of over, it still wasn't officially over yet. So they went for the kill shot. And that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Uh, and then, so they got that big play to, uh, to Jamar Chase. But then on top of that, um, the, oh, the touchdown to Hayden Hurst. I said, oh, how fitting. This game has already hurt my heart. And then Hayden Hurst gets the official game-winning touchdown. That really sealed it. Um, but you, you got to respect the uh, aggression because it was a smart thing to do. Uh, it paid off, obviously, and that helped them seal the deal. Teddy Bridgewater uh, on the Dolphins side, when he came in, um, first his first play was like a third and 17, I think. And he came in there and, and threw, the, the, he, he threw a great pass to, um, to Sherfield, number 14. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, Teddy B. And I told my boys that I was watching the game, and I'm like, man, Teddy B, he was waiting for this moment. He was waiting for this moment. Um, because he, it, like, there was no, and I know Teddy Bridgewater, he started in the NFL plenty, because he started for the Vikings, obviously, he started for the Jets, I think, started for the Saints, too, um, oh, and for the Broncos, too, I forgot about that, so Teddy Bridgewater, he done been around, but, um, there was, like, he, he came in, he was ready, like, right away, right away, and he's obviously one of the more experienced, uh, backup quarterbacks, but I would expect him to be starting for at least the next week or two, uh, for the Dolphins, when the Dolphins play, it's nice that they do have this long break now um, until their next game. I'm not sure when their next game is, but they have a nice long break. Um, so that will help. That'll help with Tua and his situation. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do there. I wonder if they will put him on IR. Uh, and you know what's interesting that the Dolphins, they had actually uh, called up one of their practice squad quarterbacks, um, Skyler. Oh, I forget his name. But they called him up, and I was like, hmm. So it's like, it's like you feel like the Dolphins just knew something. Something they, that they needed another quarterback. I wonder why. But anyway, um, Teddy Bridgewater, he came in there doing his thing. And there were some plays where this is why mobility matters, man. If Teddy Bridgewater didn't have mobility, then a lot of those Dolphins drives would have ended a lot prematurely. Um, there were some plays that definitely should have been sacks. But Teddy Bridgewater, he got out of there. Uh, one of them for sure was the um, the shovel pass to Chase Edmonds. It was a shovel pass where um, I think they, they they brought somebody in motion. Teddy Br Teddy Bridgewater snapped the ball and he was holding it. And a Bengals defender, I don't remember which one it was, if it was Trey, if it was Hubbard, whoever it was, but a Bengals defender was right by Teddy Bridgewater. And I was like, ooh, uh oh. Then at the last second, Teddy Bridgewater did a little shovel pass, and I think that was a touchdown, I believe. Um, but <clears throat> Raheem Mostert, he, um, man, he was doing his thing. He, he was quiet early on, but then at the end, like in the fourth quarter, he broke this big run. I was thinking it was going to be a touchdown, but it wasn't. Um, and, and then, uh, but after that, yeah, it just, it ended up not being enough. Ended up not being quite enough. Um, and the Dolphins, they, they fell short. So they are undefeated no more. I mean, uh, nobody thought they were going to go undefeated the whole season or anything like that. Um, and I think most people uh, probably penciled this as a Bengals win. Um, a lot of people expected the Bengals to win. I, I, I expected the Bengals to win. I was hoping the Dolphins would win, but I expected uh, the Bengals to win. And it was a really good game. It was a really fun game to watch. This was one of the uh, the better Thursday night football games. Um, recently. I mean, last, last week against the Chargers and the Chiefs, that game was cool too. Um, but I, I, guess, I guess for this one, since I was more invested in it, since it was the Dolphins and it's the Bengals, I was more invested in those uh, two teams that are very near and dear to the Ravens. Uh, obviously, with the Dolphins doing what they did, but then with the Bengals being in the division, I, just, I, I guess I cared about this game uh, that much more. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And we out.